um, something I want to talk about. As you see, this is my dog, Orbit. Fortunately, he's been having a lot of health problems recently. And we think we know what it is. We think it's a brain tumor, which means more than likely he's not going to be around a lot very much longer. So I thought I would film a video here, show you him, and talk to about him a little bit to you. Um, I said it's really hard because we've had him a long time. Uh, let's see, it's it's 2017 now. Probably got him in. Um, 2014, no, yeah, not 2014, 2004 or 2005. We got him like within a week of another dog of ours passing away from cancer. We can't say 100% certain that that is what it is because the only way to find out is to get a CAT scan. But it doesn't really matter in the end because even we can't, because of his age and his health. He can't do surgery anyways, or um, something like chemo, he just wouldn't survive it because of all his health issues. And the treatment that he's getting now, uh, he's on, well, four different medications, three because of the recent stuff. Wouldn't be any different if we can 100% be certain about the tumor anyways. He would need a CAT scan. And I would be willing to do it even though it's $1,000, but it won't make a difference with him anyways because he's 15. So, doesn't, he doesn't um, just want to be able to survive treatment or surgery anyways. But I wanted to show you about to him. He has a lot of trouble walking. He's standing now, but getting up and down is really hard. He falls and he stumbles a lot. And another reason why we think it's a tumor, we did take him to a vet and everything. That's what the vet more than likely thinks is um, the reason why. He also had a few seizures uh, this past several months. That's another indication that um, he has a tumor in, in, in his brain. Uh, his name is Orbit. And uh, I wanted to make sure I film him because I don't think he's going to have a lot longer to be with us. Hopefully, he'll um, prove us wrong. He'll be around for a lot longer to come, but I don't think so. But this is Orbit. Uh, we adopted him probably. now so that shows how long we've had him. Um, his previous owners who had him was horribly abusive. Used to beat him really bad and his previous owner took him into the vet with him and another dog and they wanted to put him down but our vet convinced him not to so the vet took him and tried to find homes for him. By the time we saw him the other dog was already gone or we would have adopted them together. But he just has not been able to fully come around from his previous owners. Well, let me start more in the beginning. If you would just touch him, he would start screaming. Because you would think you were going to beat him. If you walked by him and surprised him, he would start screaming. First couple years I had him, he didn't even come out of my room hardly at all. Except when I had to carry him out to go pee and, and, and do his business. He was just so scared all the time, he would whine constantly because of how he was treated. And that continues, and still in a way continues to this day, he still does not like to get petted. If you try petting, it, he'll jerk away or he'll walk away because it's just, you just it's just uh, the memories, the instinct of all that time being beat and horribly abused by his previous owners. It's just never been able to go away, even though he knows we're not going to do anything bad to him. We take care of him really well and we treat him really well. But, um,. It's still something that's in him that he just hasn't been able to get through it, and he won't. But he still he gets excited to see us when we come home, when we go out. He, um, I know he sees us as his, his family, and uh, geez, you know, it, was I, I see the dogs as almost like my children. Some people might think that's stupid, but I don't. And losing one, and I've lost quite a few dogs over the years. The most recent one was last year. I had another dog who had cancer, actually brain tumor too. And then there was another one. I, I, you know what, I'll, I'll do that for a separate video. I don't want to do it here. I just mainly want to concentrate on him. 
But um, I'm trying to take him out more. He's at the dog park right now. He's walking pretty good at the moment, but uh, I think it's because he's just excited to be here. Don't take him here very often now because of his health issues. It's just too hard. You have to use a lift to bring him into the car. I'm trying to keep him on camera. Normally he doesn't move around this much. He's excited, aren't you, Orbit? Are you excited? I'm just gonna follow him around for a few minutes to keep talking about him. But um, he's never been able to get along fully with the other dogs either. I think just the way he was brought up, he's okay with them now, but um, he did have some trouble with them a little bit. And just, um, I think just because of what happened with it, with his previous interaction. I don't know how he was with the other dog. Like I said, I never seen the other dog. I never seen them together. So I hope, um, or I'd say I wish I would have been there sooner. I said we would have adopted them both. But I think that would have been good for him to have the, another really familiar dog in the very beginning. Yeah, Orbit, you're doing pretty good at the moment. But he's excited to be here. Orbit, Orbit, hey. Yeah. You can tell the way he's leaning is because of his back legs. But we think it's connected to that, so neurological. He's on pain medication. He's on uh, prednisone for it. He has problems with thyroid. He's on that too. I think maybe he has a couple months. I hope that's wrong. I hope he goes long well, beyond that, but you don't know. I mean, we had a dog with cancer before, and it. Um, you know, it always leads to what's inevitable, you know, them passing away. And, of course, it's, it's difficult for me to talk about this. I actually had to go over this in my mind a few times because I didn't want to um, just go right out with it because I know I, I would start breaking down a little bit because, you know, the dogs are my, really, like I said, my, a lot like my children, my best friends. And they're very important. First couple of days he was on the medication, he was doing a lot better, but since then, it's gotten worse again. Still better than what he was when he wasn't on the medication, but I don't think he'll ever be normal again because of. Well, obviously, because of what's going on. He has a tendency to st stumble a lot, like I told you. you know how many times he fell on top of his water bowl at home? I can say he still doesn't like to be petted. Only a few times in all the years I ever had him, he actually came over for me to pet him. Orbit, hey. 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 Hey, come here, look at the camera. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hey, okay, okay, I don't want to startle, I don't want to startle him. I'm trying to get him to also get some more sun to get out. <sighs> Who knows how many more days. <clears throat> well, I want to show you him. I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video at. Um, and I may film a few more videos depending on how he does. And he's an old man now, he's 15. I'm a long time. I know, Orbit. They are breathing here, and this is McDonald's. He's an old man, too. He's um, 10.
did film orbit a little bit a few years ago a few times and if you find if you look at my playlist for non-human family members you'll be able to see him and McDonald's and another dog called Rocky a golden retriever he passed away from cancer it was really sudden in 2014 Anyways, I'm going to leave him alone and I walk around, but I want to do some film and show you him. Don't know how much longer he's going to be with us. And um, any comments or questions, please put them below. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you can see he stumbles a lot. Walks kind of real funny, kind of sideways. Trouble getting up sometimes with those back legs. It's the big problem.